And therein is the loop. So now we're making this ventilation loop, is what my hope is. That's what my hope is. Hello everyone, Franks is here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, episode 16, where Alcarin and Dark Spectrum are sort of fighting for their life down to the wire here. 2.7 days left before Alcarin dies of slime lung. Dark Spectrum has three cycles left. Both of them have less than a cycle of treatment required to be cured. So I'm going to assume they'll be fine for now. Instead, now let's go ahead and boost the speed up. Dark Spectrum is the last one without immunity. Everyone else is starting to recover. The quarantine has done its job. Let's go ahead and patch this hole up. I don't know how long that's been there, and I haven't noticed it, but it bothered me when I saw it before the start of this episode. We're also going to get rid of both of these outhouses here. And as soon as the piping system is worked out with the oxygen... Entombed. Prometheus, no! No. Somebody deconstruct. Oh, thank goodness. That's... That's not okay. Not okay. We're still having insufficient oxygen generation, but it's not the end of the world. But it does mean we're getting very low oxygen over here. So what we do need is this cycle to kick off. Uh, let's look at this. We need to dig these out here. What was that? Plants have died. Dusk cap. That's that's perfectly fine. I accept that. Uh, we're going to dig this out, wall that up, and then what? We have this chlorine. I want to tie this chlorine to here. The uh, polluted oxygen is starting to win this battle over here, and I want sort of a chlorine bubble wrapped around our colony. So what we're going to do to make that a reality is, let's see, first of all we can dig down here with this ladder and then, let's say we can go ahead and add gas permeable tiles like this, right? Because then what we can do is we can dig this out. So we're talking four like that. And then of course we'll get some more gas permeable tiles which that doesn't even make sense in that context there, so instead we'll do it like this. And I don't even know what we'll do there. I don't even <laughs> I don't even know what the purpose of that is, but that's that's fine. Dig that out. Then we can dig this out and then we're going to dig all the way across like that. And these locks can go full open at this point. I don't even know if these are going to stay like that. Uh, in fact, no, we need algae. We could just... One, two, three, four. We could just dig all of that out. And then, yep, all of that. We can also dig up some of these here. This is uh, easy to get algae. Still making a lot of chlorine from this geyser. A lot. Uh, we're going to need a door here. Or at least I would like one. And then... That should be good. But what I'm thinking is we could just use this ladder. And we'll do these in gas permeable tiles like this. I'm sure people will still go down there, but they don't really have a need to. All right, so at least we have some chlorine moving now. There is some movement. High pressure to low pressure. And then, of course, here we are with this system up here starting to be maxed out. So we're going to change you to hydrogen, and now you actually need power as well. I had not thought of that. I don't... It's not going to be able to run that pump if it runs this mixer. So one of the things we can do is we can just piggyback right off of the, the generator cable and it should be fine. We're still only pulling 480 off that line. As far as consumption goes. 
Okay, how is Alcarin doing? Where are you, Alcarin? Dark Spectrum, Alcarin's taking a shower, okay. A little bit of an inadvertent side effect of that. Let's go ahead and say if it is above a thousand, no. If it is if it is above 200, go ahead and kick that pipe on. And then up here, how, how are you? No power, no power, because we're not generating enough. That's why we need the hydrogen generator to kick on. Okay, if you are above a thousand, kick on. And then we're going to have to prioritize these valves here. Now we're still having problems on the main line because this battery is not charging for some reason. Only we're just not, we're not making enough electricity. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with this setup over here, but let's go ahead and demolish it. And we'll rebuild it somewhere else. So what I'm thinking is we'll do exercise up here. Even though it's chlorine for now, this area, yeah, up here is pretty good for oxygen. We'll go ahead and we'll dig all of this out. We'll get ourselves some airflow tiles here. And that's where we'll put our wheels, our manual generators. One and two. And then some batteries. One and two. This should fix our problems. Should be in the operative word. We'll see how it goes. All right, no, we are getting some electricity. We're getting a hydrogen generator active. Why is the other one not active? It is just, okay. Close out this valve. We just want one generator getting all the hydrogen for now. So this pump can't pump because it's blocked because this filter has no anything. Because exactly because that was taken off. No, no, no. We need... We need these hamster wheels now. Sort of a big deal. Because then everything is stopped without it. Assign a dark spectrum, assign to Alcarin. Um, Alcarin, you can't have too much longer to go. 1.7 cycles and you require aid. Could I interest you in some... Oh, because there's no food in that refrigerator. That's why... There you go, GG. Thank you. Okay, Hopeless Soul is gonna finish it. No, give me Alcarin. Requires aid. Received aid. 30 seconds. Okay. Dark Spectrum, you've got to be getting close to 90 seconds. Alright, good, 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 good. Now, do we have this situation settled yet? How about priority eight, please? Not getting any power to where it needs to go, unfortunately, because we're a little behind on the energy department. These are trying to run. There's just not enough power. All right, this one's also an eight now. Let's do it. That should help. Still not helping. Trying to kill all those germs. Oh, and the slime lung is here. We need that chlorine. Chlorine's going to have a hard time pushing up and over. It's going to have to rely on a heavy amount of pressure to roll up over here. And then all this will get dug out. Really, it's just a lot of work. We just I don't know if we have the duplicates to do it. Unassigned med beds. That's great news. Everybody's starting to do better. That's great. Food shortage. Is it because the 
areas aren't refrigerated anymore and now stuff is going bad because the carbon dioxide stopped. Okay. How about if it's above a thousand? Uh, how about if it's above twelve, twelve hundred? Otherwise, stop what you're doing. Well, we averted disaster with death due to slime lung. However, now we find ourselves in a very precarious situation with electricity in that we cannot get our carbon skimmers to run enough to let the carbon dioxide out of the pipes. Oh, there we go. We got some. And it was because we turned on this valve here. That was that was the cause. Because now what happens, as this moves... Okay, that one's getting the output carbon dioxide. That's good. Hey, that's some power. Is that going to at least help them run? A little bit? Well, it's going to be tricky from here. Let's... Let's do what we've been threatening to do for a while, and let's start setting everything back to a priority 5. I think that's going to be the smart thing to do. So we're just going to drag the box from all the way up there to all the way down here. Pause the game. Priority 5. Now, let's go through and do the things that I know I want to change. I know I want the storage to be 1. And we'll go the rest from there. No, 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 wait. I know that I want the food to be a 6. So let's do all of those. Really, this area is a nice temperature. We could do mealwood up in here. And then we could try to put some electrolyzers over here and get... Uh, some cold air there, perhaps. Hmm. The other thing is we're going to need more water down here. No liquid. Right, those have not been working. I knew this. Because uh, we needed the bisolite. That's the... Uh, we're not letting people down there. Can't, can't go that way. What we can do, though... Come up here a little bit. I do like this. Yep, like that. Uh, no, not like that, but like this. Right... That can't be, that can't, <laughs> well, we'll see how it works. We shall see. Uh, I made those a high priority, though, didn't I? I did, I made those an 8. Um, I probably don't need them to be an 8. Let's say instead they're 6s. How about that? Because everything else should be 5s. Alright, so we'll take this Abyssalite. And we'll say the wastewater goes up and out like that. And then the good water is going to come in like this. Uh, we don't have the abyssalite. We're going to have to wait and let everybody get some abyssalite. We can't keep the power on this line. It just won't work. Circuit status. Barely getting 800. Because carbon dioxide needs to be scrubbed out. That's why the wheel was down there, was for this situation when that pump runs. So that being said, we're going to have to fix this. Big time. Hmm. It is going to be a problem here eventually. The natural gas in this area is starting to get pretty high. And look at all this polluted water in here. 
Uh, we still have nothing to do with the polluted water. Pinch of pepper nuts. They still need polluted water for irrigation. That's our hook. We're going to have to start doing pinch of pepper nuts and improving the food that everyone's eating. But we got to get the immunity back up first, and we've got to get our carbon dioxide scrubbers running. These can be a priority seven, because they need to go. This fridge can be a priority six. It needs to have food in it. This area here can be locked. That's unreachable. Unreachable? Oh, because the door is locked. Well, yeah, I knew that. We don't really have a food shortage per se, or do we? Well, we can start looking at this area over here. Let's see. What do pinch of pepper plants... Do they need any particular air? It doesn't say. Just air pressure. Body temperature warm. Fertilization with phosphorite. Mm. Would be nice to start growing sleet wheat, but sleet wheat requires water, if I'm not sure. Let's take a look at that. Sleet wheat requires, yep, requires water and fertilization. And we're swimming in fertilizer. Just about everything is going to require water. Which means that, realistically, we're going to have to start... Uh, finding more water. Let's open that door. This needs to be used, though. How can we... Are you auto-bottling off? Um, enable auto-bottling. At a six. We need to start transferring that water over here. That's what we need to do. What are we doing here? And these vents never got done because they're waiting for iron. We can make them a six. Because otherwise this thing will jam up the moment it gets some oxygen. Ugh. It's always something, right? This polluted water with all this food poisoning is... surely going to... Ugh. It's going to overflow, really. We're going to have to plant pinch of pepper nuts just to get rid of polluted water. That's that's the heart of that matter. Let's go ahead and say these are sixes as well. These are at least running when... No, they're trying to. We've got two... We've got 1,600 watts going. Oh, that one stopped. We're pulling too much power, and it's this tepidizer. This thing is pulling so much electricity whenever it runs. All right, let's see. Did we get enough abyssalite? There we go, to go ahead and... Uh, not a priority eight. Let's do just a seven. Get these lavatories up and running so we're not going to have any problems because I did away with the other lavatory, or the other outhouses, and everybody's trying to use one lavatory now. We'll get these fixed. We're getting our chlorine put in place. It's going to be ready to be pumped soon, although we don't have the power here. We do need this to be a priority six. That should work for now. So when it, when it pumps up, gets the chlorine, it's going to send it down here. So then the next thing we need to set up is a place to offload the chlorine. Which really, what we could do is... Let's just do it just right like this. I mean, there's no need to make it anything cosmic. We'll just go over there, come down here, and we'll have a vent. I did in priority 8 again. That's fine. Nobody can get down there anyways as the doors are locked. And that'll be where we displace our chlorine. 
once we can get this pump running. And this will run if it is above, let's say, yeah, if it's above 900 grams, absolutely. We'll just make it a, a straight kilogram. All right, so it's ready to go. It's just missing the pipe completion. In the same way that we need these to have more people running on them. We just can't get enough power no matter what we do. People are running on wheels all over the place. This is trying to run, it really is. Meanwhile, here comes the chlorine. All right, so we might as well put these on auto and let someone go down there and build the valves. Look at the chlorine all over here has all but gotten rid of all the polluted oxygen. And then even over here, it's starting to. We're getting there. These should all be a six though. And you know what? This this should as well here. Oh no, um Alcarin. Um stop, desist at once. Instead uh, instead we need builders right now. Um here. Yep, let's do it. It's going to need to be, oh, it's going to need to be walled up. No, no, no. Uh, it's going to need to be walled up here, here, and here. That's priority nine. That really, really needs to be done. Abyssalite is not impervious to pressure and structural damage. Now, it looks like the hydrogen is kind of floating on the top more than I thought it would. I really think that's just a byproduct of having all these Weezworts like this. I mean, I, I pretty much know it is. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, but without the Weezworts, the hydrogen would be probably flowing more into the corner. I could move everything down one. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, so long term, that's what we're going to do. We'll get the electrolyzers uh, down here, and then we'll do away with these top ones. Which, to be totally honest, we could do away with these top ones right now. I don't see a reason to keep them around. What is this liquid bridge? You can have a priority. So can you. I want these lavatories running. And there goes the water. Not a huge deal. We can mop it up. What are we doing here? We did get our offshoot for chlorine gas. Now it's just all chlorine in the pipe that is not getting sorted out. Because it's still jammed full of natural gas. Because it's having trouble choking on all the carbon dioxide. It's a tough little pickle. It's a tough little pickle. Let's go ahead and look at... Uh, we still don't have that gold amalgam. Son of a gun. We don't have that steady stream of chlorine yet that we can use. Did I not deconstruct this uh, gas bridge? Well, that's just silly. Okay, let's... Let's look at this realistically. The only way we're going to climb out of this hole is if we can get people to exercise. So let's exercise everyone now. That's the only way we're going to get out of this deficit. We need duplican power. We duplican do it. We just got to get everybody running in unison. I know it's hot and it's uncomfortable out here. We haven't made any nice clothing for anyone. We almost lost people to slime lung. All right, do we have positive power yet? We still don't. 
but these still aren't running too. What if they ran on their own circuit? What if... Yep, 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 yep. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to destroy that. And instead, pull the wire down like this. And then we'll do one, two batteries there like that. This should fix all of our problems right here. I don't know how I didn't see it sooner. These these transformers, I mean, most of them, are doing okay keeping up. This one's struggling a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that one's the tepidizer. No, that one's the fertilizer maker. That's okay. This one is full, and it can power all of these, and we can force the power to be diverted in that direction. And we'll still have an issue with having the power, but at least then it might make it easier to get these batteries actually going. But if that's the case, we should pull this off of the generator wire as well, as it's probably just doing us a short-term favor and not a long-term one. Long-term, we're going to need to pull off of a wire that doesn't have a high usage on it. And I think that's going to end up being this one now that we've gotten rid of the electrolyzers. Now, as for the wheeze warts, let's go ahead and do like we said. And we're going to move them all down a floor. Let's see if that changes things. And this is simply missing a place to give power, which is odd. Oh, right there, because I had it deconstructed. That's fine. We're going to solve this problem very, very quick. And then we're going to need to plant more food even quicker. We should have enough food. Should. We'll see. Is the wire in place? The wire is in place. Why? Why? What is going on? It says no wire connected. However, it is giving power properly. Spooky. That's a little spooky. But look at that. Carbon dioxide scrubbers are running. The natural gas generators are pumping. The chlorine is coming down here. Look at that. Use direction both. Now. Wonder if we can send people back into the swamp biome. Oh, yep, and we're starting to put that chlorine in here. That's good. That's really good. So now... We're going to go back to doing what we had done before, even though it's going to cause... Oh, it's already stale. Some of this is about to spoil. We need more refrigerators. That's what we need. Are you doing your job? Are you filtering? You are. Okay, you should... Um, Stop. How about that? Just just stop for now. Let's see what happens with the hydrogen now that the Weezworts are pushing air in a different way. Even though these aren't set up. Okay, well, we're going to set these up. Oh, but these aren't run off of transformers. Well, this transformer is just running one in that direction. There's really not a whole lot to that one, so we can afford to plug it into here. And now this one will take care of... Well, it'll keep these batteries charged. It'll do the massage table and the light. So then from there, we can run it over here into these electrolyzers. I think that's going to be the bulk of it there. All right, let's look at what the farm tiles would look like if we did farm tiles. So I'm thinking what we do 
is we do three farm tiles in the center, and then all the rest need to be gas permeable. Ugh, bottles of oxygen everywhere. Uh, I'll take care of those later. Alright, so we get our farm tile squared away, and all we're going to do is say, copy these settings here. And then we'll talk about uh, planter boxes. Right, here and here. Um, here and here, here and here. Yep, we'll just do them up and down here. Like this. Because this center area stays pretty cold with these wheeze warts kicking the way they do. It just kind of falls right down in the center. And I'm hoping that that'll be enough to keep the mealwood growing just fine. Now that's nine farm, 12 planters to replace nine farm and six planters. So it's more than what we have here, because I really think we need to get electrolyzers over here. But that is the direction we need to go. That's the way things need to be. Ideally, this would be one huge circulatory loop. So if you're going to start shifting oxygen around, let's do that. You should always activate above zero. And then what we'll do is we'll crack this open and we'll do the same thing. You should activate above zero. Right, so it's jammed up with chlorine, which is fine. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. If below zero. Wow, so much chlorine. Look at it all! Boom, there it goes. High pressure, low pressure. Just annihilating the polluted oxygen. Slime lung, be gone. And look at this. Even this food poisoning doesn't stay in this water for long because it's so hot. That is great. We're getting a little bit of leftward motion. Uh, this pump running is going to help. Now that's going to send our hydrogen here, which, goodness, we're ready for a second one. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now that's going to make it to where Oh, these those aren't going to those aren't going to be needed. Yeah. Okay. That's going to start helping pull the air to up into the left and this will help pull air down into the right once it gets going and we'll slowly start saturating all of this with chlorine. As you can see this area here pretty much full up. These ore scrubbers are now properly doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, this is uh, not going to work out in the long run. What we need is a place to pump this water. We need to set up our pinch of peppers. That's all there is to it. All right. We need to start getting rid of this dirty water, like, right away. And we don't have the gold amalgam. No, we have to do that. Okay, so this is going to be where we store... You can see we're starting to get that chlorine in here now. This is going to be where we store... Sweep only at a high priority. Uh, we're going to say algae slime. And then what? It's going to be gold amalgam. Sedimentary rock. I'm sure they throw some other stuff at us there. What else do we have? Nope, that's the bulk of it, right? Yeah, gold amalgam, slime, clay. Ah, clay. Very important, clay. Algae. Sedimentary rock. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, looks like that's what it is. Okay, excellent. That being the case, wait a minute. No, it's not really taking hold up here on the granite or anything. Well, some of it does, though. Yeah, okay, all right. We'll, we'll include granite for now, and we need to start getting this area all purified up is what we need. Marked for sweeping. Oh, there's granite over here marked for sweeping. Okay, that's fine. 
That means our regular storage is completely full, which I should have noticed. We have a ton of coal. I was going to feed our hatch, but we have all this coal. And we could have used coal, I guess, to jumpstart us out of the predicament we were in, but... Uh, we need to open up the floodgates on this. Uh, let's get ourselves a valve for this. I'm tired of destroying this pipe over and over again. So then the real common sense solution would be like this. Right, so then we'll just run the pipe up and over, and then this one will connect up there, so then we can deconstruct our gas pipes here. That should do it. What did I put those on? Eights? Yeah, they should be done. Everybody's sleepy. I guess I understand. Now that we've stopped running the uh, gas pump here, this chlorine should have a pretty easy time making its way over there and overtaking all that polluted oxygen. Little trace amounts of slime lung floating around. But even down here, we got a heavy amount of chlorine and regular oxygen. Just need as much chlorine as possible. I almost think two uh, two chlorine geysers would be would be preferred, but perhaps that is a little overkill. All right, chlorine and the carbon dioxide are still working themselves out. But the natural gas is not going to be backed up forever. Thank goodness. Okay. So now we have all the power in the world we could want. Nothing should be without power right now. And therein is the loop. So now we're making this ventilation loop. Is what my hope is. That's what my hope is. Let's go ahead and dig two down this way. Just to get this chlorine free flowing. Same here. We'll dig these. What do we have here? What? Atmosphere. Because it's catching little whiffs of hydrogen. Not really the end of the world. I'm not too worried about little whiffs of hydrogen. Let's make sure I'm more worried about the temperature and the temperature is staying where it needs to stay. Thank goodness. Let's get the next batch of electrolyzers online. And then we can discuss serious food problems. Because we have some serious food problems. Farm tile broken. Because of the liquid pipe? Yeah, okay. Sounds about right. Oh, look at them go. They're competing. Who can fix it? Um, where is the... Well, it's the pipe, right? Cancel build. What are you doing? Okay, there you go. Now bring the pipe back. <laughs> I'm not, remember that pipe I said I didn't want? I changed my mind. I want it very much, actually. Thank you. These are not going to grow near these electrolyzers very well at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, 69%. No, they're, they're growing. They'll yield. I mean, they'll it'll be a harvest. It's better than nothing. We'll leave them be for now. I never thought I'd have so much mealwood dependency on these darned mealwood plants. It's, it's a little frustrating. A little bit. You notice the oxygen generation message went away? Because we're keeping the airflow moving at such a good rate... We're, we're limiting the max gas pressure that our electrolyzers are running into. The problem with that? This. Now we have auto bottling turned on and at a 7. But we're not getting... Oh, we're not getting water from here anymore. Look at that. Alright, let's go ahead and mop this up. No, that's too much. Yeah, kind of let that go. So it got a little warm over here. Um, I wanted to put some of that hydrogen over here to help this whole area cool off, but 
Nope, we're using the hydrogen for electricity because we're about to run out of our natural gas stockpile. Potentially, one day. For now, we're still just off-gassing a lot of this chlorine off the geyser, which is almost done. So yeah, so the limiting is how much the natural gas is being used. We're using it just as fast as we can. It's just not being used up very quickly, that's all. We are we are taking this room down in air pressure, though. Food calories are going up slowly. A lot of these are about to yield. Farm tile broke again. That's still That's still a thing, huh? How about... Farm tile... Disable auto repair. How about that? Okay, how about deconstruct? Very good. Sounds good to me. Although I hated to lose the, the meal wood, but that's fine. Not going to worry about it. Oh, I've got so many of these oxygen jars that I need to empty. But that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, I feel like this uh, version of the game is actually getting the better of me. Um, now, I recorded these last few episodes in succession, so if I haven't been listening to your suggestions, I'm really sorry, but I do appreciate all the feedback and advice that I get in the comments, so please don't hesitate to let me know, and hopefully um, for the next episode I'll be able to take all your comments for the last few episodes and put them into motion. But this is where we are now at the end of Oxygen Not Included, episode 16, and we're going to start having some serious problems soon. Oh, But anyways... That's where we're going to wrap things up for now. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time watching. As always, I've had a good time playing. So please come back next time. As we start to make more and more progress in our venture to the slime. Because I dare say we'll be able to go out here and mine up as much of this as we want now. We have this huge little chlorinated area. The slime lung... Uh, oh no. There is no slime lung. Nope, there is some here. A lot of the slime lung that's here should go away as it is exposed to chlorine. There you can see the number is, in fact, going down. It is not multiplying. Um, and no, we don't have a food shortage. We have more. But until next time, take care.